we had a Gauss law in electrostatics. The Gauss law deals with a surface which enclose something. In electricity, in electrostatics, it used to enclose uh, an electric field. Here, we will consider a surface which is spread in a magnetic field. So, if it is a closed surface, then closed surface in magnetic field will be touching magnetic field at each and every point and if there is a magnetic field and we make a surface then it is a closed surface and the total magnetic flux here we are introducing a new word that is magnetic flux. Magnetic flux is just like electrical flux or electrostatic flux that is intensity of the field multiplied by the area it is touching. So if we take a very small area here ds this is magnetic field B b multiplied by ds that is b dot ds this is known as magnetic flux now the total magnetic flux linked with the surface how much is that that is the gauss law in magnetism so gauss law in magnetism speak about what flux linked with a closed surface in magnetic field is how much closed integral BDS is how much answer this is zero So, this is Gauss law in magnetism. Why? Answer is here this is going out and here it is going in. So, if we make the integration then the total BDS this at many places positive at many places negative and the sum will be 0. Is it always 0? Yes, it is always zero and very unlike to electrostatic Gauss law which used to say that closed integral E d s is equal to Q upon epsilon naught. It depends upon how much is the charge within the Gaussian surface. But here it is immaterial. Charge is the one which is responsible to create electric field while who is responsible to create magnetic field? Answer, north pole and south pole in material magnetism. So, if I take a Gaussian surface and I put a north pole here, the answer is I have to put a magnet and north pole and south pole cannot be separated. So, a south pole is also here. Now, from north pole, the magnetic field lines go out from south pole they enter. So the number of lines which are going out are equal to number of lines which are entering. So the total number of lines with the closed surface 0. The total effect is 0 because the number of lines going out are equal to number of lines entering in this way. So, now in a bar magnet we cannot separate the two. If we cut it here we have a south pole here, we have a north pole here. Cut it, we get a north here, a south here. Now 
if we cut it here then what will happen answer we get a south pole here and we get a north pole here you cut it this way you get a south pole here and a north pole here in this way whatever small cut you made any small particle even if it is a single electron you can't cut that even if a single electron is rotating this way from one side it is north pole from the other side it will appear south pole so you cannot separate north and south that means whatever small is your gaussian surface so small gaussian surface this is going out this is going in so what is the net effect what is the net number of lines zero so that's why this is closed integral bds is equal to zero please remember this this is a very very important thing this was selected as maxwell's equation because this tells us about the nature of magnetic field that magnetic field are only continuous lines they do not they do not have a starting point and they do not have a terminal point so this is gauss theorem in magnetization even wherever we find north and south pole they cannot be separated so this shows that okay so please remember this so after this we will study certain more properties related to magnetism characteristics in material the terms which we are going to use in magnetic calculations in magnetic characteristics thank you